the government have to be able to support him in every way. And I did because this is the dignity of human. This is not some. Uh, it's, it doesn't depend on some uh, political vote. It doesn't depend on how many people can vote for the government to make this change. Uh, be, uh, because the government have to support everybody, whether they are minority or majority. And I think that's
mean that if you are elder kids or you just got injured, you should be able to use these kinds of facilities similar to activities for disabled people. And last thing, she said that the government should support us equally, not special only for us, but for all people. Um, actually, I'd like to add a little bit. Um, for universities, um, in, in, in terms of education, I think um, we need people with disabilities who have uh, higher education than primary school or secondary school, and this is very, very important because if you have education, then you can talk to government people, uh, otherwise they don't listen to you. Um, so that means, for example, if, if Tula Hong Kong University wants to be, uh, wants to advance this issue, so I think we can start with the policy, with disability inclusive policy, and for example, uh, improvement of community uh, university and uh, disabled people's organizations is because uh, we need some kind of in-depth in depth information or in depth data uh, to process to so that we, we can analyze what we should do in the future. And not only in, in the universe, university itself, like I said, like I was saying about the, the crisis of secondary education of people with disabilities, uh, we also have to do something. This is a crisis that needs urgent attention. Something needs to be done in order to, to, to stop the problem. And uh, also, um, another in initiative. Uh, which can be possible is the now uh, in Japan there is one organization who has been giving scholarships to people with disabilities to study uh, in higher education, uh, which is uh, the Nippon Foundation. They, so it has been giving a lot of scholarships to people with disabilities in, in, in the ASEAN countries. This is good stuff because many people with disabilities are poor, they don't have money, they don't have, <coughs> they don't have financial support. <coughs> continue the education, so we, we, we need some kind of initiatives to support them. Okay, that actually answered the question, the last question I'm going to ask, but, but you can only elaborate on that for sure. The last question is, are there any intersectional projects that you or your organization has worked on to empower the two groups at the same time? Anyone would like to answer? ก็ได้นะคะก็คือเดี๋ยวก็คืออย่างที่บอกทางที่จะทำโอเพนซอร์สหรือหนังสือนี่แหละที่เราจะทำร่วมกันแล้วก็กำลังหาทีมงานอยู่ด้วยเพราะว่าจริงๆคืออยากจะให้เป็นทุกมิติเวลาเราคุยอย่างเงี้ยเราเราไม่ได้คุยกันแค่คนสองคนเราคุยบอกเสียงไปอีกคนอีกประมาณนี้ห้าแสนหกแสนคนซึ่งอาจจะเราเรียกว่าทุกคนอาจจะเรียกว่าอีฮิวแมนเธอใช้คำว่าฮิวแมนนะแล้วก็อย่างที่เราจะบอกเรื่องเรื่องหนังสือด้วยสองคือตัวหนังสือนี้จะเปลกทุกความเชื่อจะคือหักทุกความเชื่อมาหมดเลยเพราะเราจะไม่เอาตาศาสนาเข้ามาครอบงำหนังสือเราจะใช้ความเป็นคนครอบงำศาสนาแทนเพราะที่ผ่านมาคือสังคมที่มันเติบโตจากศาสนามันถูกศาสนาครอบงำเนี่ยไอ้เรื่องราวเหล่านี้มันก็จะเป็นอะไรนะกงกรรมกงเกวียนไม่พ้นสัทีเนี่ยนะคะตัวหนังสือที่ทางเราเนี่ยคือเราจะทําจริงๆและตั้งใจจะทําจริงๆให้เกิดขึ้นถามว่าถ้าทําได้แล้วเราจะโดนเจ็บหนักไหมอะไรเงี้ยคิดว่าจะโดนเจ็บหนักแน่เพราะว่าเราจะไม่ทํามาเราจะไม่เอาประเด็นศาสนาเข้ามาเกี่ยวข้องเราก็จะทําให้วัฒนธรรมเก่าๆของสังคมที่สร้างหนังสือเนี่ยมันหายไปอ so Uh, so the answer is that the project that uh, the project that uh, she is working on is the book about the diversity that uh, she has already said, and uh, she cur uh, the currently need staff right now, <laughs> and uh, this book will like uh, because uh, they want to include all aspect into the book and. Uh, this book will break our belief and this book
book will not include uh, any religious belief because in this in society, uh, religious belief has always uh, dominated the society and different belief. So the book will break that. And uh, as you know that uh, when the book is published or when the book is done, uh, or the he will be, uh, the book will be heavily criticized because uh, the book is not con con this book is not conform to like the the old way the old fashioned way of thinking or uh, or Thai culture. Yeah. 
and he said that he's not a hero. He just wants to uh, make a share. And uh, by working as an activist, he also discover a lot of things, including discover himself. And like for example, uh, about speaking English, he always say that oh, uh, he's stupid for like and not good with grammar and stuff. But uh, he, uh, and, and uh, but uh, then a friend tell him that language is just a tool. It's not an indication for intelligence. Uh, and uh, from that, I, uh, in his job and in the working space, uh, when working, he tried to create a safe space for people and for his client. Yeah, like uh, he has a brain. Uh, and his friend, her arm is not working correctly. And uh, her identity, she defined herself as a, a tom, tomboy. Yes. So she always been a target of bullying ever since she is a student in school. And my, but when she, uh, uh, yeah, in school family or in her workplace, and, and what she needs is a safe space, which she found in working with them. But his question is, if there is like, if there is no safe space for her, what will happen? So this is what he thinks that the government should invest uh, or effort in creating, they should create a safe space for uh, minority of people. And uh, the go apart from this aspect, uh, the government should like create a uh, mechanism and create a way to uh, erase inequality and give people as much choice as possible. And one last comment from Pisoa about are there any intersectional projects that you have worked on? Um, yes, of course. Um, what we are doing here is actually a good start, and especially the video. This is, I can say, this is the first video of people, LGBT people, and people with disabilities. It's quite hard to say. <laughs> it's quite confusing. Yeah, but both uh, people who have two identities come together and and, and, and they're starting something together. Um, as you can see here, we have people back. I invited her here for a reason. She's now living with uh, a same-sex couple. Um, that story is very uh, inspirational for me because they actually help, they are helping each other uh, doing that business together. You know, uh, people got uh, her, her house uh, is very, it's quite small and every day she needs uh, to have some firefighters to help lift her up from the bed to uh, her wheelchair and then and every day she goes out with her couple I mean to sell uh, phones every day but they have to walk like two kilometers from, from the house to the place uh, which is quite long actually but they are helping each other this is what, uh, for me, is really in inspirational. And we want to have stories like these more. So, you know, for people with disabilities, even with, with one identity, is already difficult. But if you have two, which is disability and uh, LGBT, it's going to be more difficult. It will be more difficult for you okay, to uh, sustain yourself, your life through the society, which is uh, which does not accept. Uh,
disability and gender uh, diversity. So in, in the future, I hope that we can do something together to tell these kind of stories to people, to raise awareness on people with disabilities who are people, no, LGBT people with disabilities. Does anyone want to make any comments from the I'll take two, right? We don't have much time then. So one and two, and then we will have the panelists give the closing remarks. Okay, so I need to make this fast, right? <laughs> uh, uh, first of all, my name is Clive, because I'm gay, I'm living with gay friends around from, I know it's been for more than 10 years now. So I'm interested in the about open source thing that you said about the, 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 the book or something like that. Uh, I'm not sure whether I look at, at the same pages of you or not, but the disabilities and also uh, the LGBT community have something overlapping with them. For me, what I want to represent is that we are the same, we are equal, and if you don't know how to treat us, you don't have to act feminine, uh, uh, sorry, you don't have to act more feminine, or you don't have to act to reach us like that, you can ask. And I think that is the basic question that should be reached out from the open source, that we are the same. For me, in my perspective, I think that gender is, uh, I would speak in terms of gender, because that is what i interested, sorry, that is what I'm living with it. So for me, gender is like a color. It is a spectrum of color that you can choose. You can, and like, you know, you know like, at, at, when you're shy, someone might ask that, someone might ask that, well, what's your favorite color? Is it like green or black? But after that, you can change as well. So it is your right to change. It is, and other people should not treat you other things else, because it is what your personal it is. Gender doesn't affect who is your personality is. You shouldn't treat shouldn't you shouldn't treat that the other way like from what the straight are you know like um okay so I'm working as a flight sorry and uh, this is what I experienced myself I'm working as a flight attendant in one of the airlines also when you're working as flight attendant you need to change the team very frequently uh, depends on the flight and also I sometimes get asked asked like. Uh, are, are you gay or are you straight? Which I'm happy to say because that is how the, how I say uh, what it's like what they ask. Uh, what's your favorite color? I say uh, yes, I'm gay. It's just for me. It's just as normal as that. And I think that and um, when you when some people try to uh, try to I might say bullying, but they didn't recognize that if I talk with me with a feminine voice or act a bit like what society thinks we are, then I would just. Because I think that's harassment, so then I harass myself. I harass him or herself back then. Is this how you raise? Is this how your parent raised yourself? Because it is, it's, not, it's not good. And then I try to educate them more that you can treat me as a normal person. And a gay person, which if you see, if you see from outside, you may think that I'm straight and male. And you can uh, interact with me like that. You don't have to change or anything. I'm not sure about this table because I'm not experiencing it myself, but I think that uh, the disability may, disabled person may need some of the accessible, but you can also ask, and you can also try to reach in that kind of specific equipment or something like that. Which is come to the solution, but uh, for me, I only think of the three solutions because the media, media try to exaggerate that what kind of we are, what kind of we should be, like, so we get the belief from that, so the media should be shared. There may be some film movie or something like that. I'm not sure whether in this uh, panel has some kind of film movie maker, but if, if there is or you have a friend of that, you can share with them because I think that would be a very challenging topic. And also, I wish that in the politics section, we have some of the disabled, because right now we see some uh, LGBT in the politics, but uh, in disabled, I didn't say much. And if there is someone who is sharing, ex sharing their experience, in the more bigger platform, and, it, and I think that it would be great. So, so then, uh, this kind of problem will will be seen more. People will will be really recognized more, and then our goal, our goal will be accomplished. That we are the same. Uh, gender is what we choose, and you should not treat us the other way. Thank you. Uh, thank you.
more we have to so I actually have a question so there's been talks about education but how would you persuade people that education or disabilities are important because I, I think from my personal experience people don't care about disabled persons unless it's something that affects them or their family members. Um, I actually have issues with many gay people because they say things like, what about the representation in media? Like, this world is really heteronormative. And I always reply with, like, have you ever thought about disabled people? Like, I don't hear you complaining about representation of disabled people in media. So, if people ask you about, how would you persuade people about the importance of education of disabled people, like educate people about disabilities. You mean individual with dis <coughs> individuals with disabilities, not to persuade them. Because like you were talking about like you know governments and like you know how the importance of educating people about disabilities, but with people that don't have any family members with disabled people, like how to persuade the importance of it? Because like in my heart, like I know you'd be better, but you know, because like I just think that it's like you know, with a lot of people, like you know, once they have children with disabled people that are disabled, like they really, really focus on it. And I'm like, you know, you should have thought about it before. See the importance of education for disabled people. So, like, not mean if you want to, like, you know, to present people to, like, you know, allocate government funds. Uh, so, through the laws, actually, <laughs> we have to do it. Uh, we have the laws, actually, but um, the budget is quite limited, yeah. as you know, and yeah, it's often the case. Um, we actually we have been trying to do a lot of uh, a number uh, several ways to persuade them all to to persuade them and to incentivize them uh, etc. But still, it's quite difficult to change. Uh, there are a lot of reasons for that, but that 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 doesn't mean we stop doing. We we still have to do something. Um, But in Thailand, the Ministry of Education is one of the ministries that is most difficult to work with. And they don't want to change. For example, the, the school accessibility, they said, yes, this is the, the, the design. It's like this, we don't want to change. We just don't want to change. And I don't know, we have tried, but then they just don't want to change. We say that people with disabilities are a minority group, but actually in Thailand, the number of people with disabilities is not that. It's actually, we have a lot of people with disabilities. <coughs> so the current statistic uh, reveals um, 3.7 million people. Percent. That is a lot. So we try to use numbers, like you said, that is, it's, this is good for this is for I mean, for the sake of both, which should interest uh, uh, I mean the, the politicians to do something. But then uh, still difficult to make changes. But I'm not hopeless. No, we still hope. We still hope that something will change. But I can't answer you at the moment. But you just said it. Data, I said it already. Data, research, education. Okay, 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 okay. Thank and you. you. <laughs> Thank you for reiterating what I said. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's that's what you said.
บันวันนี้เราไม่ได้มีงานทำแบบแบบตามมาตรฐานของโลกเพราะฉะนั้นวันนี้เราก็ตกงานเนื่องจากว่าระบบต่างๆที่รองรับก็คือต้องมีขาดการศึกษาทำให้คนพิการถ้าเป็นคนพิการข้างหลังก็จะสามารถเดินทางเพื่อพักพระเวลาไม่ควรเนี่ยต้องต้องไปเดินทางไม่ได้เนาะเพราะนั้นเราขอเป็นตัวแทนว่าถ้าเราจะขับเคลื่อนต่อไปก็อยากให้ขับเคลื่อนเพื่อคนข้างหลังของเราสามารถได้มีการศึกษาได้ไม่ต้องเป็นเป็นผู้ใหญ่ที่ไม่ได้มีขาดการศึกษาถึงปัจจุบันนี้อันที่สองเราเป็น L T P G ใช่ไหมคะที่เป็นผู้หญิงรักหญิงนั้นความความความหลากหลายของเราเนี่ยคือเราที่เราเป็นพิการด้วยแล้วสังคมก็จะมองว่าไม่เตรียมตัวแต่ยิ่งเราแบบชอบคนเหมือนเพศเดียวกันเราก็ยิ่งมองความเหมือนแตกต่างแต่ด้วยความที่ว่าของตัวตัวดิฉันเป็นคนพิการที่อ่อนแรงขยับได้แค่ปลายมีลุกบางทีความกระบวนการการใช้ชีวิตมากกว่าคนอื่นเยอะเลยเพราะว่าเราจะเดินทางไปไหนมาไหนเนี่ยเราต้องวางแผนชีวิตกันมากขึ้นก็ขอบคุณคนที่อยู่ข้างหน้าเราที่เขาแบบพาเราไปไหนมาไหนได้แล้วก็เป็นเพื่อนเราทุกวันนี้แม้กระทั่งแม่ก็ยังไม่ไม่มั่นใจว่าเออเราอะ่ะมาคบกันเนี่ยเขาจะดูแลเราได้ไหมแต่วันนี้ถึงแม้ว่าระยะทางสั้นๆแต่ก็เห็นว่าเรามาถึงที่นี่ได้ก็เพราะเขาที่พาเรามาเราเป็นแขกเป็นขาเป็นเพื่อนให้กับเราแค่นั้นนะคะเราอยากจะให้ทุกครั้งที่มีโอกาสอยากจะเชิญเราได้เชิญเลยค่ะเราอยากเป็นตัวแทนของของความหลากหลายทางเพศตรงนี้ด้วยเพื่อที่จะให้ทุกคนเห็นว่ามันไม่ได้ว่าเออเป็นความแตกต่างหรือแตกแยกทางสังคมอินเทอร์เน็ตและเอ็ดูเคชั่นอินเทอร์เน็ตและเอ็ดูเคชั่นอินเทอร์เน็ตและเอ็ดูเคชั่นอินเทอร์เน็ตและเอ็ดูเคชั่น There are a lot of issues which relate to these problems, such as the transportations. And these transportations, okay, transportation linked to lack of education. Then lack of education leads to lack of jobs. So in order to improve the education, we need to improve basic infrastructure, such as transportation first. So as an LGBT and disabled people, I want you guys to invite me to speak and share my experience so that you know what I need. Okay, last day, okay. <sighs> <laughs> so much energy. Yes. เราอาจจะไม่ได้รู้ตัวเลยว่าอยู่ในสังคมที่ใช้ความกลัวกดอะไรเราบ้างเราอยู่ภายใต้ความกลัวบางอย่างที่ขับเคลื่อนที่เราทําตามสิ่งนู้นสิ่งนี้เพราะเรากลัวจะโดนเรื่องปฏิบัติเรากลัวจะไม่มีทางเลือกเรากลัวจะล้มเหลวเรากลัวจะไม่ได้เป็นเลิศเป็นที่สุดมันทําให้เราเือกต่างๆนานาโดยเรามาทบทวนถ้าไม่มีโอกาสที่ทบทวนก็นั่งเรือทบทวนทีหลังไปงานแต่งงานของคนของเพื่อนของเพื่อนที่ต่างจังหวัดเห็นคนร้องเพลงรักให้กันสองคนความรักเป็นเรื่องของคนสองคนเจ็บปวดและหนึ่งตอนนี้เป็นโพลีอะมอลีเป็นโพลีอะมอลอสเจ็บปวดมากรู้สึกว่าทางเลือกตอนนี้ก็รู้สึกว่าไม่ใช่เฮ้ยคุณกําลังทําอะไรอยู่คุณกำเอ่อคุณกําลังอ๋อนี่คือความรักที่เขายอมรับสังคมยอมรับสองเจ็ดปวดที่สองเจ็บปวดย้อนกลับไปอีกเคยเป็นโมโนกามีรักคนรักคนเดียวอยู่กับแฟนสิบสามปีอยู่กันเดียวสิบสามปีระหว่างที่คบแฟนคนเดียวมาสิบสามปีห้าหกปีแรกกลัวมากมากที่จะพ่อแม่แฟนจะรู้แล้วกลัวจะทนแย่งกันจากกันเรารู้สึกว่าทำให้เราประกับก่อนจิตใจเรามันว่าเราทำพลาดไม่ได้กับความสัมพันธ์นี้เรา
เป็นเจ้าของเราต้องห่วงแหนเขาไว้คนเดียวเราต้องแอบทุกอย่างเราต้องสร้างความปลอดภัยของโลกของเราสองคนจนตัดขาดทางเลือกอื่นๆไปหมดน้ำตามันไหลออกมาทุกอย่างมันลงมาอ๋อตอนนั้นเราเจออย่างนี้ทําไมเราต้องออกโรงเรียนทําไมเราต้องเรียนได้แค่กศนทําไมเราต้องทุกอย่างมันกล้ามตัวออกมาการศึกษามันทําไมเราต้องเราถึงจะไม่มีความสุขกับอะไรในชีวิตเลยฉะนั้นอยากจะบอกว่าการที่เป็นตัวของตัวเองการที่ลุกขึ้นมาเรียกร้องต่อสู้เพื่อการเปลี่ยนแปลงเพราะว่าเรากำลังเผชิญความไม่เป็นธรรมในสังคมมันคือความกล้าหาญชื่นชมทุกคนที่เป็นนักต่อสู้ชื่นชมในตัวเองที่คนพบตัวเองเจอไม่ว่าวันไหนเราลุกขึ้นมาเราเจอความผิดพลาดอะไรไม่ว่าวันไหนเราเจอขึ้นมาเราค้นพบตัวเองเป็นแบบไหนไม่ว่าเราวันหนึ่งเราจะเกิดอะไรกับร่างกายหรือจิตใจเราขึ้นมาทําทุกคนทําดีที่สุดแล้วครับเก่งมากที่ยังประคองตัวเองรักษาตัวเองได้ในทุกวันนี้ขอบคุณมากครับ Just, just briefly, okay. So um, he said that we all live under fear, and this fear are invisible. Fear that we're gonna uh, be cheated on. Fear that the relationship would end. Fear that cheating is wrong, for example. So we are taught traditionally to live under the concept of heterosexuality and monogamy. He is gay and proudly polyamorous. What he is doing now as an activist, he is facing these fears. And uh, the cross thing we want is that uh, by being himself and everyone for being themselves, and because. Uh, they are facing the injustice in the society, and and that takes out of very uncovered. Yeah, and he admire everyone who uh, stand up and fight. He admire every fighter, and no matter what happened today or tomorrow, no matter what happened to to them, uh, he want everyone to know that they did their best, and he. He is really proud of them, proud of us, proud of everyone. Yes. If anyone would like to talk about the panelists, we can do it outside. Yes. Give an end to the discussion. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. And outside, there's the donation box. Um, just to help us go in, keep going. You're welcome to donate. Thank you. Let's go.